so we finally have android 15 beta 1 released and this is a public beta you can install it on your supported pixel devices if you have one by ota or in case you want to update it through ota or by any chance you want to flash images through flash.android.com moving into some of the information here first of all of course having the april security patch and android version is vanilla ice cream Although the Easter egg is still Android 14, which was kind of expected. If you are looking forward to Android 15's Easter egg, that might be introduced with Beta 3, same as like previous Android 14 Beta when it came. So moving into some of the changes here. Firstly, if you take a look at this predictive back animations, of course, it was available previously too. But for example, now like this, you can see here the animations are a bit changed. The home screen animations, for example, like the, this is the one by default. If I move on to settings and move to home screen this animation looks same like the previous one but if i open any sub menu for example this if i go back now you can see the predictive back animations are a bit changed as compared to previous one i'm not exactly sure how many of you actually use this feature available in i guess in android 14 already but uh, looking at some of the privacy features now in Wi-Fi or if you have enabled some Wi-Fi on a device, if you have connected a Wi-Fi network, you can see privacy options. Use a randomized MAC address or use a device MAC. Now you can change it very easily by just moving into privacy options. It was not available previously. Uh, more likely Android 15 is, I guess, focusing on privacy options. Also, if you move on to security and privacy options, you will see mobile network security. It was also not available previously. And as I just mentioned, I guess Android 15's main focus is on privacy and security. In the notifications, as you can see, receive notifications in case the mobile network that you are connected to is a insecure due to lack of encryption or if the mobile records your unique device or sim identification basically your IAB number etc so that's that's quite impressive that you have the option to turn it on the second one which is encryption uh, it's not that much required the first one which is notification security notifications that actually helps and I guess you have to enable this thing once standard 15 stable will arrive also if I move on here you might notice here we have double menus available there uh, it, this could be a bug this could not be I'm not exactly sure right now for example if I open this as you can see we have gesture navigation at the top we have gesture navigation so similar same kind of double menus and it's available in some other sections too so it's quite strange it might be a bug might not be not exactly sure but it's available in beta 1 so yes of course just wanted to let you know Another new thing which I found here is in the widget section. Now it's it's considered as pixel weather, not normal weather or I guess the Google app etc. is already there. But if you want to enable weather widgets here, you will see pixel weather. This could be only pixel specific if your device is Google Pixel or one of them. But uh, it's available. So of course, I just wanted to let you know, place the weather app or weather app widget on the home screen and you can enable this thing else. Things are basically same here. So those were just the noticeable changes available with Android 15's first public beta. Uh, of course, like other previous two or three updates, no major change is right now coming. Some of the previous changes which I shown you was this app list setting which was available in the default launcher. At the start of the Android 15's developer preview, I guess, we saw that the at a glance widget could be the option which you can hide. But unfortunately, that is not the reality too. But yes, this is quite strange. But what we have is what we have. I just wanted to let you know. One more thing is, if you don't know, now you can archive your pre-installed apps or basically install third-party apps on your device by click on archive you will see the app like this one so this will simply free up space it was already available with the google play store but in this case now it's available the device and also it's quite improved with this android 15's beta 1 else we have similar kind of things here we also have the new force stop icon which looks good and i guess it was already introduced with some android 14's qpr updates uh, which is already available in android 15 by default else we have similar kind of things here too we do not have any major visual changes as expectedly and i'm not exactly hoping with android 15 a stable update we might see any visual change but one thing which i i am looking forward to is lock screen widgets that's present in pixel tablet i guess now but not in the normal devices we'll see that later on so this is all thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one until then take care